My name's Phil Higgins and welcome to the Ventures Onside News Update for the fourth week of August 2024. Well, on the 17th to the 18th of September, the MEAEC Build Tech Exchange takes place at the Pullman downtown in Dubai. An event not to be missed as Joe Nasabi, the Ventures Onside Commercial Manager, will be discussing the GCC Construction Project Outlook and Opportunities. And on the 16th of September, for three days, the World Utilities Congress 2024 kicks off in Abu Dhabi with more than 12,000 attendees from across the globe. 180 exhibitors, 250 global speakers, 110 conference sessions, and more than 1,400 conference delegates will explore new solutions and business models within the utility sector. You can find a link to register for these events in the description. Well, the Kuwait Authority for Partnership Projects announced that it has shortlisted six consortiums for the 1,100 megawatt Al Dibidat Power and Al Sagay Renewable Energy Phase 3 Zone 1 Photovoltaic Independent Power Project. The consortiums and companies that have been qualified to bid for the contract are ACWA Power and Alternative Energy Projects Company the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company Masta and Fuad al and Sons General Trading Contracting Company, Total Energies Renewables, Zinco Power and Jira, Trillingdown Construction and EDF Renewables, Abdullah al Hamad al Sucker and Brothers Company and Korean Western Power Company. Ed Oman Douglas OHI was awarded a contract for the design and build of the Experience Center building within the al sapam Hafam City development. The Experience Center building is a key element on the Sultan Hafam City, serving as a state-of-the-art facility designed to showcase the vision, progress and future plans for the landmark project. In Saudi Arabia, the King Salman International Airport Development Company awarded four design and engineering contracts to develop King Salman International Airport in Riyadh. Fosters and Partners will design the master plan for the airport, which covers a total area of 57 square kilometres and includes seven terminals, six runways and a multi-asset real estate area. Jacobs Engineering will provide consulting services for the detailed master plan, MACE for project management and NERA, who will oversee the design of the airspace to enhance air traffic efficiency and improve operations using the latest technologies. Sinopec was awarded a significant contract to develop a tank farm in Saudi Arabia. The Sab Tank Amaral project, designed to support the Amaral Petrochemicals Complex project, jointly developed by Aramco Saudi Arabia and Total Energies, involves the construction of a state-of-the-art storage facility designed to handle a substantial volume of crude oil and refined products. In the UAE, NMDC Group has won a contract worth more than $200 million from the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, ADNOC, for crucial marine dredging works at the Ruas LNG project. The contract includes extensive dredging operations involving the removal of approximately 15 million cubic meters of material across a 5-kilometer channel with a 245-meter width. ARC Developers announced the launch of its landmark $1.08 billion development in Soha Beach Residence on Al Majan Island in Russell Khaimah. Conceptualized by architects Nikan Seki and interiors by Salini Misra Design, the project will be spread across a built-up area of 1.8 million square feet with direct access to a private beach and boasts 50 world-class amenities including a private beach club infinity pool sky bar and a gymnasium in egypt homebrew developments announced the launch of a major new project a commercial administrative and medical development in new cairo egypt in partnership with saudi arabia's asil group the project will boast investments exceeding 1 billion egyptian pounds and designed by smart architecture will feature a ground floor six additional floors and two underground parking levels well, that's the news for this week. Please don't forget to subscribe so we can keep you up to date with the most recent construction news for the region. 
and all future developments here at Ventures Onsite. Like always, we hope this news update has helped you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins for Ventures Onsite. Thanks for watching.